It's embarrassing to be a European. What the Europeans did all over the world, destroying all the beautiful cultures, so, enslaving all the people, so, so, it is the most shameful thing ever done on the planet. <laughs> if the court in Den Haag would, mm -hmm. would really be a just court, then they would have to say all the Europeans must work like asses and all the other, the Africans and the, the South Americans and the Asians, they should just live a very luxury life at our cost. A narody z, z tych kontynentów, południowo Amerykanie, Afrykanie, czy Azjaci powinni opływać w luksusy i podtrzymać i patrzeć się na to, jak, jak ciężko ci obrócić pracują, żeby swoje by, grzechy odkupić. Nie? But that's not the, the view of the world bank. Ale niestety, takiego spojrzenia nie posiada bank światowy. And also of the G G8, G10, G20. G10 czy G20 nie posiada takiego spojrzenia. So we have a big problem in this world. Więc mamy tutaj też wielki problem na tym świecie. The problem is neo-eurocentrism. Ten problem nazywa się nowy eurocentryzm. And it expanded, of course, into Americanism. No i oczywiście on przejawił się w formie znanej pod nazwą Amerykanizm. And because our technology is so high now, we are just about to destroy the rest of the planet. Already 25% of the Amazon jungle is finished. And almost 100% of that cut Forest is only for soya and meat industry of Europe and America. Europe is owing almost all the electric power plants in the world. Europa posiada wszystkie wszystkie nasiona, że tak powiem, wszystkich roślin w całym świecie. If the Brazilians want to have electricity, cały prąd jest posiadany przez They have to go to Rome. A jeśli jeśli Brazylczycy pragną mieć prąd elektryczny, muszą udać się z prośbą do Rzymu. Because the company Endesa owns their electricity. And their water is being sold to the French. The Swiss. And what they want to do with the Amazons now? They have planned 130 dams. 130 dams means the end of the Amazon. And, and all that for what? For having more electricity. That you can have a hot shower. And all these kind of things. It's big capitalism. But this is not puja. This is not culture. We have to understand something very important. That the happiness of our world has disappeared. Because we also have been participating in destroying the happiness of the rest of the world.
I can speak like this because I've been a missionary in South America for 40 years. And I know inside outside what it looks there. I've seen the rivers where you cannot drink the water anymore because Canada made a big mine for copper. Widziałem po prostu rzeki, z których nie możesz już więcej pić wody, ponieważ Kanada zbudowała tą tam wielką kopalnię miedzi. Nowadays they put cyanuro. Obecnie umieszczają tam cyanuro. A deadly poison. To jest śmiertelna truciszna. To separate the gold from the copper która ma rozłączyć, czy tak powiem, czy oczyścić gold, złoto od, od tej miedzi. Like when you hear before, oh, they have gold in the mountains. O, no, jak wcześniej mówisz, że o, u nich jest w górach jest znajduje się złoto. Or in a river. Albo w górach znajduje się w rzece. You think how nice. Myślę, o, jak fajnie. But it's not nice. A to nie jest wcale tak, tak It fajnie. means the industry is going to ruin the whole area. Ponieważ ty, ta... Ten przemysł wydobywczy zniszczy cały obszar. The, Was the Vasco Lama is a glacier. No. Vasco Lama jest nazwą pewnego lodowca. One of the few glaciers we have. Jest to nazwa jednego z niewielu lodowców, które nam w Ameryce Południowej pozostały. Because our glaciers are going down year by year. A ponieważ te, te nasze lodowce which is the only reserve of sweet drinking water. So the World Bank pushed for a license to destroy this glacier to get to the oil, the, to the gold which is inside. And this is the, the mafia, the, the power of money. So our spiritual path of love, it tells us that we should not be happy by exploiting the earth. We have to stop exploiting the nature. You know what that really means? It means we have to reduce our living standards. The problem of us human beings is we do not accept simple living high thinking. We do not accept that we have to change our lifestyle. We do not accept that we should live without furniture and should sit on the floor. And it's very, very healthy for your column if you learn how to sit on the floor. Your whole health will be better if you do some asanas. Simple living high thinking is, is a part of India's culture. There's, I could give you 1,000 examples. And if you understand the, that this is not Vedic culture, Vedic yoga style doesn't take anything away from you. <coughs> it only gives you. It gives you one treasure after the other. It gives you health. It gives you good character. It gives you uh, the possibility to love the whole world. It makes man friend of the animals. Now, the meat eater is not friend of the animals. Now, the meat eater is not friend of the animals. 
for the animals any moment a man appears the messages run for your life so the, the Vedic culture just makes you richer and richer and richer. For example, we have ashrams in South America called Ego Yoga Ashrams. You are most welcome if you want to visit us. We have very nice yoga volunteer programs. In the jungles or in the mountains with the indigenous people. If you want to spend some vacation there, come. You are welcome. So we construct our buildings either with bamboo or with mud. Bamboo is a grass. When you cut a bamboo, you do not kill that plant. Immediately new new comes up. And bamboo is as hard as reinforced concrete steel. You know they put all these metal things inside of the cement. You can do the same thing with bamboo and it's just as strong. And we utilize mud. The highest quality of living. The best thermodynamics. And when the house is finished after 100 years, it's going back to earth. It is not, a, it is not an environmental hazard. So simple living, I think, is not stupid living. Yoga doesn't mean giving up beautiful things and living with horrible things. The greatest culture of this world was a culture of love. And it will always remain as such. Now you can use, see how you can apply that to your local conditions. In Europe, things look different. But love thy neighbor as thyself. And become a world citizen. Don't be a Polish citizen. That's a very small issue. Because today the whole world is connected. When you throw a piece of plastic in the ocean or in your river, that goes to the ocean. And from the ocean, it's coming back on the land later. We, 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 can't, we can't throw anything away. It always stays somewhere. 
We just have one planet. Probably we would export garbage to other planets otherwise. We have so much, we are producing so much garbage. We are supporting exploitation. Ex we are supporting exploitation. That is our modern philosophy. Yes. There's 60 billion animals in cages. For each human being, there's 10 animals in cages. And after one year, 64 billion dead and 64 billion new ones. Who's going to pay the reaction for that? So the teachers of yoga, like Prabhupada, they have said, friends, let's think over everything once again. Let's learn how to love. Volunteer in the science of love. Make your house an embassy of love. Don't be afraid. You will be the richest you can even imagine. The science of love is here. To make you successful. And it is not a science which you can import. You have to start living it yourself. Each and every one of us, individually, has to live the science of Powinien przeżyć, czy żyć tą e, nauką miłości.